Hello everyone, it's Marissa and welcome to my studio. Today is part 5 of my step-by-step -step acrylic landscape painting demo. And if you are just new to my channel, I'd recommend you to watch part 1 so that you will know how to begin this painting. A supply list will be listed below and you can also download the image that we are trying to paint from my website. Today we're going to focus on the birch tree and we will paint this with a palette knife. So you're ready to get started? Let's do it! So let's get started with Titan Buff, Quinacridone Magenta, Ultramarine Blue, and Burnt Sienna. As you know, Ultramarine Blue plus Burnt Sienna make a nice blue-black. I added a little bit of Titan Buff to it to get a nice medium gray. Add gel to that color mix so that you have more paint to work on and apply that medium gray to the birch trees using a palette knife. I'm using a Liquitex Professional Line palette knife and it is number 17 in the Liquitex website. I like the uh, Liquitex palette knife because it's stainless steel and it's not going to rust. It also has a really good bounce to it. So so this is why I like it and it's also comfortable to grip. I have arthritis on my fingers unfortunately so I can get really tired easily but these knives are just so easy to handle. When you get to the edge of your painting, and if it's a small canvas size, you can flip your painting around so you could do the base of the birch trees easily. Again, I'm painting or I'm applying my paint from the outside corner moving in, either left to right or right to left. Add a little bit of a lighter gray, so this is more Titan Buff to the gray, just to add a little bit more of a variation to the birch trees. Try to clean your palette knife every so often because acrylic paint dries on your palette knife. So you want to keep it smooth and, and clean all the time. To indicate 
indicate that the sun is hitting parts of the birch, try to add a little bit of raw sienna and uh, maybe Titan buff. Um, those colors are nice and warm and yet it's light so it'll uh, sort of bounce the light effect on the tree trunks. At this point, I am adding a little bit of a glaze on the background trees. I am using violet to indicate shadow and um, just uh, a nice uh, effect rather than your usual browns. Um, and again, I use glazing liquid to add layers of paint as I'm painting. I don't use water unless I'm doing a wash and uh, I use glazing liquid because it adds strength to the colors giving them luminosity without losing the chroma. I'm gonna add a little bit of burnt sienna to the palette and mixing it together with some of the raw sienna and a little bit of Titan Buff as well and glazing liquid. This just adds a little bit of the brown on the maple tree. And let's just build this tree now. The maple tree has many branches and again you can choose how many you'd like to paint. Well, just keep an eye out on your photograph and just see which branch you would like to emphasize and add highlights to. This has a little bit of the quinacrinol magenta so it just gives it a nice browny purpley effect.
So now I'm going to add highlights to the branch that swoops from left to right to give it an illusion of the sun hitting the lower part of the branch. I'm adding Titan Buff and Raw Sienna. Midway, I'm going to switch it up to a purple gray to give it a sense of perspective, a little bit of distance. And I guess this is where we're going to end this session today. Thank you for joining me. Part 6 is coming real soon and we will work on the sky. Feel free to write your comments below and please share. Ring that bell to get notified of new videos just out for you. This is Marissa Sweet. Take care and sweet out.